In this webinar, I'm going to show you how to record the disposal of depreciated assets. I'm going to show you how to remove depreciated assets, whether you throw them out or whether you sell them. I'm going to review the journal entries and give you a couple of practice problems. This webinar presumes you have already mastered how to compute the depreciation expense and you know how it affects the balance sheet in building an accumulated depreciation. The issues we're going to discuss here are what is the process when you sell or throw out a depreciated asset, how do you figure out that gain or loss, and what journal entries are needed. The process. First, if you dispose of an asset in the middle of the year, you must take a part year depreciation. Most of the time, that would be a half a year. That's called the half year convention. But if the asset is not current in its depreciation before you dispose of it, you must do that first. Then you're going to remove the asset related accounts and each asset has two accounts related to it. The original cost account, and then the accumulated depreciation account or the depreciation since you bought the asset has been building up. The third is to record the cash that you received, if any, if you've thrown it out, there is no cash, but if you sold it, whatever you got for it, you must record the cash. And then finally, the balancing entry is to record the gain or loss. Here's an asset that we're gonna sell at the end of its third year. It's going to sell for $75,000. Depreciation is current because we're selling it at the end of the third year and the third year's depreciation has been recorded. What is the gain or loss on sale? What you need to do is compare what you got to the book value. Where's the book value? There it is, $72,000. You gave up a $72,000 asset in exchange for a $75,000 asset. That's a $3,000 gain. So how would we record this disposal? So how do we remove this asset from the books? There is no account called book value. That is just a math subtotal of the 132 minus the 60. There are two accounts related to this asset, the cost account and the accumulated depreciation account. And both of these must be emptied. So how do we empty that asset account and how do we empty that accumulated depreciation? We have to know if they are debits or credits and then do the opposite to zero it out. Let's review how these got there in the first place. The equipment account was debited when we purchased it. And when we record depreciation in each year, the accumulated depreciation account is credited. So in order to empty these two accounts, we have to credit the equipment account and debit accumulated depreciation. So what do we need to do? Reminder, the process, we need to remove the cost and related depreciation accounts, record the cash that's received, and then balance with the gain or loss. So we debit the accumulated depreciation to remove the 60000 we credit the asset at the original cost. Now this journal entry doesn't balance. Debits don't equal credits. We must finish by recording that 75,000 that we received when we sold it and then balancing with that gain or loss that we already know. So we debit the cash for the 75,000 and then the gain is a credit. And then we check our entry by adding up to be sure the debits equal the credits.